Hello everyone. In this video, we will show you how to run the scan and run preset using Spooky2 Sample Digitizer and Spooky2 Remote. This is Generator X, Sample Digitizer, Replacement Slides, Spooky2 Remote, Spooky2 Boost, Power Adapter, and USB Cable. First, connect the Generator X to the computer using a USB cable. Then connect the power adapter to the generator. Now we can place the liquid biological sample on one slide. Ensure the sample is placed in the black capital E. Place the other slide on top. Please make sure the two capitals are facing each other. Clip the slides into the digitizer. Now we can connect Spooky2 Sample Digitizer to the OUT1 port of G1 or G2. We connect it to G1. After that, we can connect Spooky2 Boost to the OUT1 and OUT2 output of the generator. Next, connect Spooky2 Remote to the BN port. Please don't forget to add the DNA sample inside of the Spooky2 remote. Then short press the power button to turn on GX. After connection, we launch the Spooky2 software. Here we connect sample digitizer to G1 for biofeedback scan and Spooky2 Remote to G2 for the following scan results running. It is important to note which port numbers can respond to G1 and G2 before running biofeedback. Here, G1 is port 5 and G2 is port 6. Go to the Presets tab and choose Shell Presets hyphen Remote hyphen killing JW. Go to the Programs tab and ensure all repeat settings are set to 1. Zero entered in repeat chain box means the scan results will be looped indefinitely and the software will not step into the second run of biofeedback scan anymore. Then Go to the Control tab, tick Overwrite Generators, and click port 6 that is connected to the remote. Back to the Presets tab, choose Biofeedback hyphen Sample Digitizer hyphen Scan and Run JW preset. Then go to the Control tab, tick Overwrite Generators and click port 5, which is connected to the sample digitizer. Ensure Run Hits is ticked in the After Scan panel. As we run frequency hits on G2, we can enter 6 here. We want to perform two biofeedback scans at results running, so we enter 2 in this box. You can also enter 0 to repeat continuously. The preset will not stop until there is no frequency hit found. OK? Finally, we can click Scan to start.
After the biofeedback scan, we can see there are three frequency hits. Now the software will run the results on G2 automatically. Because we enter 2 here, the software will start the second run of the biofeedback scan now. Thank you for watching this video.